just the, the with all these fires that are going on, uh, the National Forest Service is going through the different national forests and they're doing prescribed burns to get rid of underbrush so that there's not leftover leaves and stuff. So that if, if something was to catch fire, it wouldn't be as catastrophic as what we've seen with uh, a lot of the other places. Um, I'll read what it says here in the article, and we can kind of talk about it a little bit. It says, prescribed burns are low-intensity fires set by trained professionals to reduce hazardous fuels, restore wildlife habitat, and improve the forest's overall health. Excess fuels such as vegetation and dead wood allow wildfires to burn hotter and hotter. These burns help mitigate the risk of extreme wildfires for both the forest and surrounding communities, according to a release from the Forest Service. All burns are planned thoroughly to make sure that the fisheries, wildlife, rare plants, and historic sites are not harmed. The release adds, um, experienced fire managers will closely monitor local weather conditions such as wind and humidity and adjust the schedule as needed prior to ensure the safety of both crew members and local residents. Prior to the planned ignition of a burn, crews construct and designate fire breaks to ensure the fire does not leave the burn area. And they're getting ready to do this in some different areas Throughout the uh, the Daniel Boone National Forest, and you can actually go online and it'll show you a map of where those places are. Yeah, dude, we we've seen the devastation, especially around Red River Gorge. I know we talk about that place a lot on this podcast, but it is a, a gym close to it where is. we live. So we spend a lot of time there. Uh, but just for reference, man, like um, I've seen multiple forest fires up there around the not to be too specific, but Tar Ridge area. And I think that that is one of the areas specifically that they're targeting for the controlled burns. It is. Um, it I, is. 